I guess it's time again, but you, you know, it's a sad, sad situation when you have to look at the future that we have in front of us, if you want to call it a future at all. When Barack Hussein Obama took office, the national debt was somewhere between nine and a half, ten trillion, somewhere along in there. And in just seven years, seven years, under his presidency, the national debt has just about doubled. Think about this for a second. I keep telling us we're in an inflationary depression, but who wants to hear? I keep telling you the price of commodities. Look at your goods and services. See what's happening to your dollar. Purchasing power may even seem dismal right now. As a matter of fact, it's still dismal because when you think about how they're shorting you um, in the containers uh, concerning the amount of product that you used to get, you're still paying either the same price for less product or you're going to be paying more price for the same product. Either way it goes, it's just a sad, sad situation. But can you imagine what's going to happen to this economy? Be right back here in just a moment. But can you, okay, I'm back, I'm back, all right? But can you imagine what's going to happen to this economy if within seven to eight years, we've already doubled the national debt, meaning that Barack Hussein Obama and his administration, he's actually spent more money under his administration than all the presidents in the history of the United States of America. Can you imagine what's going to happen in the next eight years? Wow. Now, think about it. I remember in the 90s, I was telling people that the United States of America was going to become a third world country. I told them that the economy was going to fail. Blase, blase, blase. You know what they call me? Um, pessimistic. You're stupid. You're a crackpot. You're out of your mind. Then I started telling people about silver. Oh, I really don't lost it then. But now you look at it. Look at your purchasing power. And I need to ask yourself a question, or I need to ask yourself, you need to ask yourself a question. Are you sure that you can trust America? Are you sure? Because what I see is I see corporations still uprooting from the United States of America, going into other countries, and then selling goods back to the few Americans that are left working. Do you realize we got something like 48 or 49 percent of the population on welfare, food stamps, EBT, and it's only going to go from bad to worse? Now, most of you have never even heard of or wouldn't even entertain the thought of reading just a few pages out of the book of Adam Smith, Wealth of Nations, because, I mean, after all, you got too much other things to do. You know, you don't read the Bible. You don't care about history. You don't care about all you care about is the here and now. And the only time something ever really truly means something to you is when your homestead and your house is disturbed. Well, guess what? You're getting ready to be disturbed very greatly. So what does this mean? You need to prepare. You truly, truly need to prepare. Um, you need to have food, which most of you don't have. Most of you don't even have a week worth of food stored up in your homes. Uh, and it speaks to the conditioning of your mind right here. They have definitely, you know, this, this world and the religion of Christianity has got to be the most powerful drug that there ever has been in the history of mankind in order to produce these kind of people that we, we, we're definitely fooling with every single day is just utterly, utterly, utterly amazing. But $19 trillion is not the real number. You need to add in the unfunded liability, such as Medicaid and Medicare, and continue to keep going on. And not only this, but they've been dipping in the kitty of Social Security ever since the inception of it. And now they are starting to cut retirees' Social Security checks. Wait a minute. I thought that this was supposed to be something to help the people who cannot invest in themselves have something they could put money in in order to be able to enjoy the golden years or at least live a little bit of these golden years right here. I mean, what in the world? I mean, after all, instead of the social security system being broke, shouldn't it be a surplus? 
I mean, think about this. The majority of people that work all their lives, most of them don't even live long enough to even collect Social Security for one or two years. Figure that. Soon after most people turn 65, 70 in this country, they die. And where does all that money go? Nope, you got it. It doesn't go into the hands of your families. That's the reason why we need to learn how to operate outside of the system. You see, as long as you can leave your family some of this, because it's going to be amazing, isn't it? It's going to be amazing when this thing goes to $300 an ounce. Oh, past that ain't going to never happen. Oh, believe me, I know a lot of things they say that wasn't going to never happen. It always happened. You know I can tell you this is going to happen? i tell you the reason why I'm telling you it's going to happen. Because the people that don't know history, they're destined to repeat the same mistakes of the past. And guess what? We are repeating the same mistakes of the past. We are following literally to a T the old ancient Roman Empire right before total collapse. The truth is we've already collapsed. What's propping us up is a printing press um, and this phony institution called the Federal Reserve. And I'm telling you, the illusions and the delusions that's going on, you better start preparing. You better start surrounding yourself with people who you can trust. And I'm going to tell you right now, everybody can't be trusted. And that's just the truth. And that's true straight away. Well, anyway, I hope I said something to stimulate thought. Mm -hmm.